This time we are going to discuss about the center of gravity. So we will not waste our time and let us jump to the session right away. Now we all know that the earth attracts each and every particle towards its center by the force of gravity acting on the particle that is known as its weight given by the formula m into g. So we are assuming that there is an irregularly shaped object and it is divided into so many small particles like this. You can consider that the object is made up of so many small particles, infinitely many small particles like this. I am assigning the weight of each and every particle like this. So you can say that the whole body is made up, that the whole body is made up of such tiny weights as shown here. So we can assume that the weight of this body is equal to the weight of all these tiny particles. Is it okay? Now the weight of any particle or any object acts in the vertically downward direction because of the force of gravity. So we can assume that the weight of all these particles also will be in such a direction that they are all acting in the same direction that is towards the center of the earth. Now, can we assume that there is one quantity, let us represent it by W, that is equal to the summation of the weight of all the individual particles that comprises that body. Now, the question arises that where should this weight, capital W, of the body should act? Then we can say that the weight of that body will act at such a point, I'm naming it G, the weight of the body will act at such a point G that the algebraic sum of moments due to the small weights W1, W2 and Wn of each and every particle about the point G is zero. So the moment of all those tiny particles W1, W2, the clockwise moment, the anti-clockwise moment, all the moments, the resultant moment is equal to zero. The sum of all this, all those moments is equal to zero due to the weight of all these tiny particles. Then we can say that the weight of that object acts at that point and that point is known as the center of gravity of that object and that is represented by a capital G. So to define it in one line, the center of gravity of a body is the point about which the algebraic sum of moments of weights of all the particles that constitute the body is equal to zero. And the entire weight of the body can be considered to act at this point, however the body is placed. For example, suppose if we have a circular ring. Okay, I know this is not a perfect circle, but it is better than yours. So if there is a perfect circle, then the center of gravity of that circle lies at the geometric center. If it is a ring, then also the center of gravity lies at the center of the circle. The difference between these two is that let us assume that this is a disc and this is a ring. In this case, the center of gravity will lie on the surface and in this case, the center of gravity is not lying on the object, on the surface of the object. So it may sometimes happen that the center of gravity lies outside of the body. If we have a rectangle, then the center of gravity will lie where the two diagonals intersect. Similarly, in case of a square, where the two diagonals intersect, the center of gravity lies at that. So it is the geometrical center of the substance or the object. Suppose if you have a meter rule that is 100 centimeter long or that is equal to one meter then the center of gravity lies exactly at the midpoint that is at the 50 centimeter mark now i guess a few of you might have a question what if the shape of the object is not regular that means it is an irregularly shaped object then where will the center of gravity lie right i hope some of you might have raised this question so now if this body is tied with a thread and just suspended freely then after it comes to rest that is it balances 
in such a position then the center of gravity lies vertically below the point of suspension it means it will be at any of these points so to find the center of gravity of an irregular surface what we can do is first we will tie a thread at this point that means the center of gravity would be in vertically direct vertically downward direction at this any of these points so to find the center of gravity of an irregularly shaped surface we have to tie it at three or four different points we'll start with this point let us suspend it at this point then the center of gravity would lie somewhere in this vertically downward direction in the second case we are tying it at this point and then the center of gravity would be in vertically down with this direction and the third case we are tying the body at this point then the center of gravity would be lying in this direction wherever the three arrows intersect that is the center of gravity for an irregular shaped surface this points let me, let me just name it as a b and c so for finding the center of gravity of an irregularly shaped surface we have to tie it or suspend it at three or four different points just mark the arrows that show the vertically downward direction and wherever those arrows intersect will get you the center of gravity of that surface simple isn't it i hope you have understood center of gravity and the concepts related to it so this is it uh, we'll meet next time till then study hard and practice more bye